Hello, today we will be unboxing the Haunted House Lego Manor Von Baron. This is 18 and up. The set number is 10273. The price count is 3,231. And it is insane. On the back of the box, you can see the play feature that I will show you guys right after this. The light up brick behind that right there, behind Von Baron Von Baron. And then when it lights up, you'll see it turns into a mummy. Very cool. Very awesome. Let's get right into it. Whew, these are all the bags. It goes all the way up to 18. Now let's count each one. 24 is 25. Plus, so 25 bags. Plus one ginormous instructions. Four 16 by 16. And three black base plates. Dang. All right. Time to get building. Right, we have five visitors. One guy is in a wheelchair, which is pretty cool because this is uh, not rare, but doesn't come in many sets. We got four, uh, we got three girls, two guys, we got two uh, twins, spooky twins, and we got two ghosts. Now these ghosts are very cool because when you take their head off, you turn it around, well, let's just turn the entire thing around, you see they have a sad face, and a happy face. Very cool. Has not been used before. Next, we're gonna see right here on the side, you twist this and the door opens. Very cool, it opens all together in sync and then close. Right here, pumpkin. This is, uh, is a person who used to work at Lego. Now he doesn't, he's retired, but it's very funny because they're acting like he's dead. Uh, here's a bat, Manor Von Baron, the print, and inside there's another print. If we open this up, here we go. Inside we have the roller coaster, not roller coaster, but uh, just like car seat, Manor Von Baron. You can pop this out. You see it's attached to this one little red stud, not red stud, red clip, to attach to the back of that. So you can put two figures in. You can just shove that in like this. And then you go. On this side, we have the organ of Caterino. We have the two Anubis heads. We have the face, oh wait no, this, <laughs> the, uh, the portrait of Samuel Von Baron. This is the main character from the old, uh, old Lego sets from 1999. And in the back, if you press Manor Von Baron, there is a light brick that lights up to show the mummy's face. Here it is, a bit darker. As you can see, it really lights up. Very nice. Red brick back there. Here, let me turn on the lights. So you have a red brick back there that if we take this off, take this off, it's attached by two studs in the back. You can see this is its own special print. There are no stickers in this. That is great. No stickers at all. Not a sticker, not a sticker, not a sticker. Very nice, because stickers can be hard to put on, and you can always uh, get those stickers for cheap when printed tiles are much more expensive. You can see the ruby uh, print goes through that. It's very cool. Here, this is the red, uh, red brick, the red light-up brick. The organ you can take off. It's attached by three studs. In the back, you can see all the keys. Very nice. A chair. This, this is the obelisk, ob, obelisk, obelisk of evil. This is from uh, one of the original sets. So all of these were stolen by Samuel Von Baron. And this is like his little uh, museum. Right here, this is the resonator in the book, not book, but, uh, instructions. These are the instructions. In the instructions, it says this, uh, brings back ghosts, which is, uh, which are these two guys. 
the head of the Sphinx. This is also from a Lego set from the 1990s. Uh, right here, that is the idol of Everest. That is the golden dingus, the uh, orb of ogle, the box of junk. This, this is uh, a skeleton twin. These are, that's the other one, the triplet. Let's see, uh, it's called the forbidden skeleton right here. And that's supposedly the third uh, person who used to work here. Right here, we have the altar of Alizard. Here's a little uh, fireplace. If you connect it, let's see. If you connect it, you can see if we open the doors, let some light through. Here. Oh, shoot, you can't see it. Well, you guys can just imagine that uh, together they connect and they make a fireplace. Uh, what else am I missing? Right here, this can... You can either have it like this or this. I like it like that. Uh, here's a nice chandelier build, which can fall and rotate back and forth. Now for the main, actually, let's go first off right here. That's printed, printed. That's uh, supposed to be the ruby. And on to the main attraction. Oh, one more thing before that. If we take this off behind here, uh, in the booklet, it says this is connected to the Sphinx. Just in case Samuel Von Baron needs to escape. So if he needs to escape, he presses that. The Sphinx, Sphinx ex explodes. And I don't know, I guess he creates a distraction to escape. Now here, let's put in two guys and see how this works. On the back side, this is the crank. Now as you can see, if I push forward, there are two things stopping it from going forward. If I move this like that, it starts to rotate. And one of these, these low pieces, pick up the, like, a uh, little seat in the back, and it brings it up. You can see, sometimes it gets a little bit stuck, but overall, it works pretty well. You can see it's coming up. See that noise? That means that it's not rotating fully. So we gotta give it a little bit of a push. You see it's coming up. It's coming up. And here. Now to look at it from the inside. All right, on the inside, we are gonna start rotating and it goes up and up. Oh, wait, the paper is stopping it. So right here, we're gonna wait for it to come up. Oh, you see the, you see the people in there? And we're going up and up and up all the way to the top. The doors open all by itself, just like the Tower of Terror in Disneyland and World. And then you crank it one more time and it falls, which is very cool because it falls very fast, but these two things in the back make it uh, slower. And then if you see, there are little, uh, there, there are little uh, black, black rubber pieces that also stop it. So if you see, if we crank it all the way up. It falls like that. Before we wrap up this video, these are the figures from 1999. This does not come in this set, but these are my own figures that I got from Bricklink. This is the main good guy, Johnny Thunder. This is Samuel Von Baron. I like to call him Baron Von Baron. Because it sounds a little bit cooler. But this is his uh, little jungle outfit. And this is his outfit right here. Oh, I know. That's the uh, desert outfit. That's the desert outfit. And that's just uh, his regular uniform. And that is the mummy. This right here is the person from 1999. With leg and toe printing. Toe printing. They never even... They, they haven't done this in such a long time, and this being such an old uh, minifigure is very surprising. Right there, that's... That's the mummy. Right, and it's done. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.